Hey, Henry, I'm sorry. I think I'll be late again today. Can you eat dinner first? What the? Again? I'm really sorry. Is it another overtime? Yeah. Lately, my work has been increasing more and more, and I've been getting busier. That sucks. You should talk to your manager. Well, it's a busy season right now. I can't help it. My co workers are working late too. I can't leave first. Oh, yeah, you got promoted to department head, right? Yes, I did. Well, I guess at a small company like yours, it's easy for a woman to climb the ladder, right? What do you mean? I'm just saying that the environment at your company is different from a big corporation like mine. Don't get too cocky just because you're department head now. I'm not getting cocky or anything. Oh well, never mind. I'll just eat dinner first. You made dinner, right? I figured something like this might happen. So I prepared some food this morning and I put it in the fridge. You can just heat it in the microwave. That's good then. But don't you think you're working too hard? Maybe you should take it easy on the work. I like my job and it's not a burden. I got promoted because I've been working hard. And I also get a position allowance. Do you really need to work that hard? Don't forget that you have a house to take care of. I feel bad for not taking care of the house full time. On busy days at work like today, I have to come home late. But I've always dreamed of buying a house, you know? Well, I appreciate everything you do. Thanks to your hard work, we finally got our dream home. But, please don't forget that you're my wife. I know what you mean. I'll do my best to balance work and housework. I know you can do it. Um, it'll be really helpful if you could help with the house a bit more. No way! Housework is a wife's job, isn't it? But we are both working, aren't we? Even if we are both working, men have the harder job. Is that so? By the way, you're off work this weekend, right? Yeah, why? My mom wants to come visit us at our new house. Oh, your mom? Yeah. She's really looking forward to seeing our new place. She's been asking me when she can come over and check it out. I see. What's wrong? Is there a problem? Well, it's just... Every time I see your mother, she starts nagging at me. Honestly, I'm not very fond of her. What the hell? My mother is practically your mother, too. Yeah, but... I don't think she's nagging at you because she hates you. She cares about you, and she's just trying to help you become a better wife. That's why she's hard on you. Is that how it is? Mom is always right, so please listen to her. Are you serious? What? Did I say something strange? No, it's nothing. We've just moved, so there are still unpacked boxes, and I haven't cleaned everything yet. I'm worried about not being cleaned and getting scolded. Don't worry. 
Mom understand that we just moved. Do you think so? Hey, listen. You worry too much. My mom isn't some mean monster. <laughs> I hope so. So, I will just tell her that she could come this weekend, okay? All right. Since my mom is coming to visit, make sure to clean up properly. Hey, Marion. Are you going to be late again today? Oh, not today. I'm on the train home right now. I was able to leave almost on time today. I see. Things are finally starting to calm down at work. Me and my co-workers are feeling a bit more relaxed. I'll be home soon. I'll start getting dinner ready right away. See you soon. Oh, you don't have to cook dinner. What? Why not? Actually, mom is here right now. Your mom is there? I was surprised too. <laughs> I mean, she didn't say anything to me. She just showed up. But I'm glad she's here. She's making my favorite dish. What's going on? That's why you don't have to cook dinner. You don't have to rush home. Wait a minute. Your mom just visited the other day. Yeah, but... Is that a problem? Isn't it a bit strange that she's here again today? I don't think so. I'm always happy when mom visits. Well, you love your mom, so that's probably okay for you, but... Mom seems to like our new place. The kitchen is new and beautiful. She said she'd love to use it, so she came over again. I see. You know, it's good for you too, right? You get to eat mom's delicious food when you come home. It's nice that she's making dinner, but... I wish she had told us in advance if she was coming. It's not a big deal, right? We are a family, after all. But I had already prepared the ingredients. It messes up our plans when she comes unexpectedly. Don't be so cold. Mom will be hurt if she hears that. Besides, Mom lives alone and feels lonely. As her son, I want to take care of her. I understand that feeling, but... So that's why you don't have to make dinner, okay? I see, I understand. Henry, I just got home. And why am I seeing your mother here? Oh, you're home already? You're back earlier than me today, huh? Hey, what's going on? Your mom is cooking in the kitchen again today. I didn't hear anything about this. Surprised? I'm shocked. But it's a nice surprise, isn't it? I don't think so. Why not? Why not? Someone was here who wasn't supposed to be here. I thought you'd be late. I asked mom to make dinner again today. Why didn't you say anything to me? Wait, how did your mom get in the house? We locked the door, right? What? Of course, she could get in from the front door. What? Mom has a spare key. 
What? Did you give her the key? Why are you so surprised? Of course, I gave her a key. My mom's moving in with us from now on. What the hell? We never talked anything about this. Oh, my bad. I haven't told you yet. What's going on? When I had mom's home-cooked meal yesterday, I realized how good mom is at cooking. I want to eat mom's cooking and live together from now on. <gasps> it's not a weird thing, is it? She's my own mother. So I asked mom if she wanted to live with us. Mom was thrilled and said yes. So, starting today, the three of us will live together. Are you serious? Why are you making this decision all by yourself? I didn't decide by myself. I discussed it with mom and decided. You should have talked to me instead of your mom. Huh? Why? I don't see why I have to discuss it with you. She's my mother. Seriously? Aren't you happy to live with mom? Of course not. What? Why not? You'll get to eat mom's delicious cooking every day. You know, it's been bothering me for a while. Aren't you too dependent on your mom? What? I understand that you love and care about your mom. But you married me and made a new family. Can you think about me a little more? Of course I think about you. That's why I thought it was nice that mom came. Don't you want to eat mom's cooking? I don't think you understand my point. What do you mean? If you have something to say, just say it. Sure, your mom might be a good cook. But every time I see her, she's always nagging me. She says I'm too busy working and not fulfilling my duties as a wife. She also says I should support my husband more and be a better wife. If I had to spend every day with a mother-in-law like that, I'd lose my mind. But mom's just saying the right things, isn't she? Right things? Marianne, you're getting too full of yourself because you work too. I'm making a good living, so... How about working less? I wouldn't mind if you quit your job and become a full-time housewife, too. Are you serious? Who'd be in trouble if I quit my job? I'm serious. If all you're going to do is complain, then get out. Excuse me? You're so focused on work that you neglect housework. You don't even take care of me, your husband. If that's the case, then it's much better to live with a mom who is good at cooking and does all the housework. I can't believe you. Oh, wait. Are you jealous of mom? How could I be jealous? Are you sure about that? <laughs> You're just upset that mom took me away from you, aren't you? What are you talking about? If you don't want to lose me, then take care of the house better. A woman who is always talking about work isn't very attractive, you know. Wow. Anyway, Mom is moving in and it has been decided. I didn't approve any of this. 
Whether you approve or not, it has been decided. I guess there's no point in talking to you anymore. If you have time to complain, why don't you learn how to do the housework from mom? Are you out of your mind? What's wrong? You're at work, right? Work is the least of my concerns right now. What? Mom told me about you. She said you kicked her out of the house while I was at work. Is that true? Oh, it seems like your mother has already contacted you. Yes, that's right. It was my day off today, so I called a cab right after you left for work. Then I asked your mom to leave the house. Are you serious? Mom was furious. She said she can't believe what you did to her. And it seems you also took her house key. I don't care what she says anymore. You're the worst. That's my line. I don't want to hear it from you who decides everything on your own. Listen. You're my wife. And I'm the eldest son. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to take care of mom. So, are you going to neglect your duties as a wife? If something happens to your mother, I'd like to help her. But she seems to be in good health. There's no need for me to take care of her. But by then, it might be too late. I'm worried about leaving mom alone. But it's unreasonable to let her live here without even consulting me. And didn't we promise to make a decision together for an important thing like this? Did you forget that? Well, yes, but you didn't have to kick her out all of a sudden. Don't you feel sorry for mom? But wasn't it you who suddenly brought your mom here? I saved up the money to build this house in the first place. I even put the name of the house in my name. So, there's no way you can decide about this house without my permission. But still, think about it. We built a big mansion, you know. And would it be more enjoyable if mom were here too? What are you talking about? I'm planning to live alone. What? Alone? I'm divorcing you. What? Divorced? So that's why you need to leave this house. What? Why do I have to leave too? I told you before, didn't I? This is the house I built. And yet, I can't stay married to someone who lets her mother live with us without my permission. I can't do this anymore. Wait a minute. Divorce is too much. I've been watching your behavior recently, and I'm done. You're not qualified to raise a family if you keep putting your mother first. You should live with your beloved mother forever. Well, I'd love to be with my mom, but I don't want to go back to my parents' place. I don't want to live in that shabby house. Shabby house? I only went to your parents' house once. But yeah, it was in a terrible state. I remember there was a leaking in places. The walls and floors were falling apart. 
Yeah, you're right. I'm trying to get mom out of that shabby house. That's why I want her to live with us. But your parents' house became like that because of your mother, right? What? I heard that when your father passed away, he left behind a huge inheritance. That money could have been used to renovate the house. But your mother spent it all on luxury goods. Going on luxury trips with her friends and using it all up. So it's all your mother's fault. Well, mom doesn't really plan things out. And she's a bit careless with money too, but... You're just like her, aren't you? What? Your lack of responsibility with money. That's one of the reasons I want to divorce you. What do you mean? You've been taking money from my bank account, right? What? You thought I didn't know? I took it out little by little so you wouldn't find out. Don't tell me you went to the bank to check the transaction all the time. Of course not. I can check my account statement online now. You're the only one who knows where my card is. And you're the only one who knows my PIN. I knew right away that it was you. But you know what? We are a married couple. Don't make a big deal out of spending a little money. I worked hard to earn that money. It's not okay to spend it without telling me. Then I'll just return it, okay? I'll pay you back a little after I get my next bonus. You're not sorry at all. Besides, you gave the money you withdrew to your mother, didn't you? How did you even know about that? Your mother was proudly talking about it today. She said her son gives her an allowance. There's nothing wrong with giving your parents an allowance. If it's your own money, yes. But in your case, you took it out of my account without telling me. And you gave it to your mother as if it was your own money. But... Your salary disappears quickly with gambling and online game purchases. There's no way you could afford to give your mother an allowance. Fine, I get it. If you really don't want to live with mom, I'll talk to mom again. Talk about what? I'll tell her that we can't live together right now. But I work on convincing you to change your mind. So she'll have to wait a little longer for us to decide. That's not going to work. Why not? I'm ashamed I chose a man like you to marry. Before we got married, I thought you were a kind man who cared about his mother. I didn't know you were such a mama's boy. How am I a mama's boy? Don't you realize it? What's wrong with taking care of your mother? In your case, it's too much. Hey, Marianne, you're joking about getting a divorce, right? I'm serious. Are you sure? You can't even pay off the mortgage by yourself. And you're busy with work, too. Wouldn't it be better for us to work together? I'm sorry, but I don't need your help. I have savings, so I won't struggle with the mortgage. And my income is twice as much as yours, so I think I'll be okay. Since I don't have to take care of you, 
It's much easier for me to live on my own. Wait a minute, please. I'm sorry for everything I've done. All right, I will tell my mom that we can't live with her. Please, let's not get a divorce. Get the hell out of my house. Don't be so cold. I'm really sorry. I've already made up my mind to divorce you. It's too late to be sorry now. What am I gonna do now? Go live with your beloved mother. In that shabby house. Um, well then... Can you lend me some money? What? I can't live in that shabby house. I'd like to fix the leak at least. But I don't have any savings. Mom also has no savings and lives off her pension. That's none of my business. You'll have to figure it out yourselves. Please help us out! I refuse. I'm sure you'll hear from my lawyer soon. Wait! Please don't leave me! Any further discussion will be done through my lawyer. No way! My life is over! Well then, I wish you a happy life with your beloved mother. No! Please, Marion! Help me! After that, Harry wasn't immediately agreeable to the idea of divorce. However, with the assistance of the lawyer, the divorce has been finalized. Harry moved from the luxurious house to his shabby parents' house. He seemed to have tried hard to fix up the house. However, since he had to pay me back, he was unable to save any money. He is now working hard at a night bar in addition to his regular job, but he is still struggling financially. Despite this, his mother's spending habits remained. Henry, who was such a mama's boy, finally lost it. Now the two of them are constantly fighting with each other every day. On the other hand, I am still busy with my work. But I am free from my toxic ex-husband and his mother, so I am living a stress-free life. If I find someone in the future, I might get remarried. But for now, I want to enjoy my peaceful single life.